So a few weeks ago, I came across an MMORPG that actually surprised me, in a good way for once, and that game is called Project Gorgon. It's an open world, old school indie MMORPG made by only two people, a husband and wife team, and as you can probably tell by this footage, the game certainly doesn't have the best graphics. I initially played this game on stream after I spent about an hour or so revisiting Skyforge. Going into it, I wasn't really expecting too much knowing it was more of an old school game, but after I made my character and logged in, I was immediately surprised by something that we rarely see anymore in modern MMOs. My character literally spawned into the world and was given absolutely zero direction as to what I should do next by the game. No tutorial, no arrow pointing me in the right direction, no NPCs with giant exclamation marks above their heads, nothing. I wandered around for a bit feeling rather confused until I managed to aggro two monsters which, consequently, Consequently resulted in my character's first death. This instantly gave me a sense of danger in the world. After that, I curiously ran around the island trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do in this game. I came across some NPCs, but they weren't marked as being a point of interest as I'm used to in other MMOs. I spoke to one anyway and received a quest to open a sealed treasure chest. The game didn't tell me how to do it though. I was given some clues, but it almost felt like a puzzle. Wandering around the island some more, I kept killing mobs and exploring. I came across several puzzles and eventually realised that I need to speak to and read what the NPCs around me are saying. There was one quest where I had to find four coordinates from around the island, write them down on the in-game notepad and give the answer to an NPC for example. The movement in the water controls way better than Black Desert Swimming. Another highlight was stumbling across a dungeon-like area and the game warning me three times that if I proceed without a party, my character would encounter a boss that would put a curse on me that persists through death. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, what happened? My character also managed to get himself set on fire after I failed to correctly answer one of the puzzles which resulted in me running into the ocean to put the fire out. Despite having bad graphics and feeling quite outdated, I actually found myself having more fun playing Project Gorgon than some of the newer MMOs that have come out. The game actually felt like an RPG, and I found myself talking to other players, asking for quest advice, or even helping them out with my own quest advice. Another thing I loved about this game is that there's so many different objects in the world that you can interact with, it makes exploration feel rewarding. Quests aren't obvious or marked on the minimap, so you need to find them and figure them out for yourself. And overall, it was quite a refreshing experience, especially in a time where MMOs literally hold your hand all the way to max level. I think something that's been long forgotten in MMORPGs of late is that the process of figuring out quests and doing puzzles yourself can feel more rewarding than the loot you get from them. I know Project Gorgon isn't exactly a WoW killer or anything, but what this game does well is remind you that a good MMORPG isn't about turning off your brain and rushing to max level as quickly as possible. It's about the story, the exploration, socially interacting with other players to work towards a common goal, and the feeling of satisfaction when you figure out things for yourself. On top of that, Project Gorgon also has many other cool little sandbox elements to it, such as a class classless combat system, 16 combat skills, 71 different trade skills, the ability to open up a shop, inscribe messages onto items, and multiple choice questing. I have to admit this game definitely surprised me, and I'd love to see more games that adopt the same principles as Project Gorgon. If you're interested in giving this game a try, it's currently available on Steam Early Access for £30. I know it's not the cheapest game out there, but every game on Steam can be refunded before two hours of playtime, so if you're not a fan, you can at least get your money back. But overall, I was pleasantly surprised by Project Gorgon. I think if it had better graphics, a more modern combat system, and a larger dev team behind it, the game could be incredibly popular. I just find it quite amusing how a husband and wife dev team managed to create a more immersive and interesting MMO than 90% of the garbage that gets released nowadays. So props to them for that. But that's it for this video guys, I know it's not my usual first impressions format, but I'll get back to that soon. On April the 5th I'm most likely going to be streaming the new Arcage Fresh Start server, then in May I'll be checking out Bless Online, so expect a few videos about that. But until then, thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.